friends at home. Welcome to another edition of Stories for Bedtime. Are you ready for bed? Good. What? Some of you aren't? That's okay. We're going to have a story time first. So get on your bedtime tutu. Do we wear tutus to bed? No. What do we wear to bed? Pajamas. Yes. Let's put on our pajamas, let's bring our adults over, let's bring all the family over, and let's settle down for a nice story for bedtime. Now this week is a special story for bedtime where we will be celebrating Paper Bag Princess Day, and that celebrates this wonderful classic book that we're gonna read today, and we'll talk about that more soon. But I'm excited because this is gonna be a lot of fun. And do you know what the best part is for me? There's a dragon in the book. Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> All right. I even have my dragon pajamas on and I have a tail. Let's have some fun. Okay, now, can we clap everybody and say hello? Let's do it. Clap everybody and say hello. Clap everybody and say hello. Clap everybody and say hello, no matter what the weather. Good. Good clapping. Now, how about stomp everybody and say hello? Can you stomp? Stomp your feet like a dragon. Can you stomp like a dragon? Good. All right, let's stomp everybody and say hello. 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 No matter what the weather. Good. Oh, it's always bedtime. I'm getting sleepy. I like to stretch before I go to bed. How about you? Should we stretch everybody and say hello? Let's try that. Stretch everybody and say hello. Stretch everybody and say hello. Stretch everybody and say hello. No matter what the weather. Good. Good job, everybody. Now, for adults, we are going to be reading a book and doing some rhymes and fun activities um, that encourages the core competency standard or goal of the day, which is. English language development and it requires listening, requests and directions, uh, we'll be addressing speaking, using English to communicate needs, and reading, enjoying books, understanding print conventions, developing awareness and recognition of letters, and phonological awareness and manipulating songs like rhymes, okay? You know what? I have a song before we begin our book. Let's do a song together. Now, this song is called There's a Crown on Me. So, what do you think princesses, princes, kings, queens, emperors like to wear on their head? What's it called? A crown? Here's my crown. Yeah. So they wear maybe royal robes, maybe they have a crown on their head. So let's sing a song about this crown. So where does the crown go? I can't hear you. On my foot, did you say? <sighs> There's a crown on my foot, on my foot. There's a crown on my foot, on my foot. It just won't stay put. This crown on my foot. There's a crown on my foot, on my foot. Does it belong there? No? Okay, let's try again. I know where it goes. It goes on my knee, right? There's a crown on my knee, on my knee. There's a crown on my knee, on my knee. Good gracious me, does it belong on my knee? There's a crown on my knee, on my knee. What did you say? No. 
Okay, that's silly. Hmm, where does that crown go? I think I heard one of you. On my arm? Let's sing it. There's a crown on my arm, on my arm. There's a crown on my arm, on my arm. It isn't doing any harm. But does it belong on my arm? There's a crown on my arm, on my arm. No? Okay, Miss Jackie, the librarian, is being very silly. Where does that crown go? No, it doesn't go on my nose. Does it go on my head? Yes. There's a crown on my head, on my head. There's a crown on my head, on my head. Did you hear what I said? I think it goes here instead. There's a crown on my head, on my head. Yes, we wear crowns on our heads. So do princesses and other royalty. Okay, so now that we've got that straightened out, let's do our book. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, have a listen and take a look. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. All right, let's get that book. <laughs> Today I'm a princess. Welcome to my magical story kingdom. All right, we are going to be reading The Paper Bag Princess. This is by Robert Munch, who put the words in this book, and the art, the illustrations, are by Michael Marchenko. And if you look on the back, you can see the author and the illustrator there. There's the author, he put the words in the book. There's the illustrator, he put the pictures in our book. Let's read. And this is published by Annick Press. The Paper Bag Princess. Where's that princess? Is that her? Can that be her? Does she look like a princess to you? What do princesses wear? Do they have fancy jewels? Do they have a crown on their head? Do they wear a marvelous cape like mine? Maybe. Let's find out. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and had expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. Where's Ronald? There's Ronald and there's Princess Elizabeth. What do you think about them? Looks like she's in love. I see little hearts around her head. Does he look interested? Hmm, maybe not. Looks like he wants to go play tennis. See his racket? Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle burned all of her clothes with his fiery breath, and carried off Princess Ronald. No! Poof! Can you roar like a dragon? Roar! There's Prince Ronald. Roar like a dragon again. Let's hear you. Roar! I can't hear you. Roar! <gasps> Poor Elizabeth. All of her fancy clothes gone. All of her jewels gone. What is she going to do? And her prince has been carried off by the dragon. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. 
She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing she could find that was not burnt was a paper bag. So she put on the paper bag and followed the dragon. He was easy to follow because he left a trail of burnt forests and horse's bones. Do you think she was scared? Maybe. Can you still be brave and be scared? Hmm. I'm not sure if she was scared. She goes right up to that dragon. <gasps> Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged on the door. Can you knock with me? Okay. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. All right. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Well, a princess. I love to eat princesses. But I have already eaten the whole castle today. I'm a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. He slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. You see that nasty dragon? Looks a little tired. It's a tough job eating castles. Elizabeth grabbed the knocker again and banged on the door again. Can you help me knock? Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Good. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Go away! I love to eat princesses, but I've already eaten a whole castle today. I'm a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait! shouted Elizabeth. Is it true that you are the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? Yes, said the dragon. Hmm. Is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up 10 forests with your fiery breath? Oh, yes, said the dragon, and he took a huge deep breath. Can you breathe with me? <gasps> and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up 50 forests. <sighs> you see him blowing his fire? It must be hot. Fantastic, said Elizabeth. Can you see? And the dragon took another huge breath. Take a breath with me. <gasps> and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up 100 forests. <sighs> Can you blow out the fire? <sighs> Good. All right. Magnificent said Elizabeth, and the dragon took another huge breath. <gasps> But this time nothing came out. Poof. The dragon couldn't even, um, didn't even have enough fire left to cook a meatball. That's a sad dragon. What do you think Elizabeth's doing here? How does this help rescue Ronald? Is she outsmarting the dragon? Let's see what her plan is. Elizabeth said, Dragon, is it true that you can fly around the world in just 10 seconds? Why, yes, said the dragon, and jumped up and flew all the way around the world in just 10 seconds. Do you know how long 10 seconds is, it's actually really short. Should we count together? Let's count. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, eight one thousand, nine one thousand, ten one thousand, and he was back. He went all the way around the world in that short time. Wow, I'd be tired if I flew around the world, 
even if I was a dragon. And he was very tired when he got back, but Elizabeth shouted, Fantastic! Do it again! So the dragon jumped up and flew around the whole world in just 20 seconds. <sighs> was he tired? You bet he was. When he got back, he was too tired to talk and he lay down and went straight to sleep. Elizabeth whispered very softly, Hey, dragon, can you help me whisper, hey, dragon? Hey, dragon, good job. But the dragon didn't move at all. She lifted up the dragon's ear and put her head right inside. She's brave. And she shouted as loud as she could, Hey, dragon! Can you shout as loud as you can? Let's try it. Hey, dragon! Good. The dragon was so tired, he didn't even move. Elizabeth walked right over the dragon and opened the door to his cave. There was Prince Ronald. Ta -da! He looked at her and said, Elizabeth, you are a mess. You smell like ashes. Your hair is all tangled and you are wearing a dirty old paper bag. Come back when you are dressed like a real princess. How could he? How rude. She went into all that trouble to save him. Was that nice of him? No. Ronald, said Elizabeth, your clothes are really pretty and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince, but you are a bum. They didn't get married after all. Yippee! Does she look sad about that? No. What is she doing? She looks like she's dancing off into the sunset, happily ever after. The end. <laughs> Thank you for reading with me. That was fun. But now I have a rhyme for you, and it's about... You guessed it! Dragons! Will you come on a dragon hunt with me? I promise it'll be a lot of fun. I need help looking for these dragons. Will you help me? Good, because I'm going on a dragon hunt. Come with me. I'm going on a dragon hunt. Just look around and see. I'm going on a dragon hunt, so up and out of bed. I'm looking for a dragon with his scales all colored. What color? Red, that's right. There's a red dragon. Good job finding that dragon. Now, for our next dragon, let's look around, look around. I'm going on a dragon hunt. You can come too. I'm looking for a dragon with his scales all painted. What color? That's right, blue. I'm going on a dragon hunt. It may take all day. I'm looking for a dragon with his scales painted. What color is that? Like a rain cloud. Gray, that's right. I'm going on a dragon hunt. My eyes are so keen. I'm looking for a dragon with its scales painted. What color? Green! That's right! I'm going on a dragon hunt. I better not wink. I'm looking for a dragon with its scales painted. What color? Pink! That's right! I'm going on a dragon hunt. That big lizard's a funny fellow. I'm looking for a dragon 
with its scales painted what color? Can you guess? Here's our magical color changing dragon. <gasps> yellow! Are you wearing yellow today? Am I wearing yellow? What color's my crown? Yellow, that's right. I'm going on a dragon hunt. I think I see a track. Do you see it? I'm looking for a dragon with his scales all painted. Black, that's right. I'm going on a dragon hunt. I'll look all around. I'm looking for a dragon with scales painted. Hmm, what color do we think it is? Can you guess? What color is that? Brown, that's right. Okay, let's look around. I'm going on a dragon hunt. I'll look around all night. We're looking for a dragon with scales painted. What color is that? White, that's right. I'm going on a dragon hunt. Oh, but I've just spotted a turtle. I'm looking for a dragon with scales painted. Purple! <laughs> I'm going on a dragon hunt. It hasn't been boring. I'm hunting for the last dragon with his scales painted. Orange! That's right. Anybody wearing orange? It's the color and the name of one of my favorite fruits. It's good for you. All right. Well, we went on a dragon hunt. It sure was fun. Together, we found those dragons, each and every one. Can you roar like a dragon again? Roar! I can't hear you. Roar! <gasps> Roar! Okay, now can we sing a song together? We're going to sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star with a little bit of ASL thrown in. Okay? We're going to sing... Twinkle, twinkle, right? Those are our twinklers. And then little star, like we're pointing up at the night sky at the stars. Star, okay? And then it's how I wonder, wonder or dream, what you are, you, okay? Then we go up above, the world so high. And then like a diamond, D for diamond, put it on your ring finger then in the sky, okay? Do you think we can put that together? Let's try it out. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, Little star, how I wonder what you are. Should we try that one more time? Let's try it one more time. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Excellent! Yay! Well, thank you, everybody. All the children, all the families, all the dragons out there. <laughs> It's time for bed and time for our goodbye song. So let's sing Now We Rise Up. So I need you to stand up and put your hands or claws on your knees, okay? Good, and we're going to rise up. Now we rise up, up, up. 
Now we go down, down, down. Can you touch your toes? All the way down to the ground. Did you touch them? Good. Now we rise up, up, up. And now we turn round and around. Wiggle your dragon tail. All right. Now we all clap, clap, clap. And now get down as low as you can because we're going to touch the sky. One, two, three. Now we all touch the sky. Now we all take a bow because you did such a great job today or tonight. And now we all wave goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, and see you for our next stories for bedtime. In the meantime, check out our other programming and fun things to do at www.santacruzpl.org. See you later.